Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, guys, and in this video here, we are going to be creating a tier list. Given that it's the part two of the festival, we're going to be tier listing the top 10 best units in Dragon Ball Legends based on PvP and the meta. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this video, man. I'm just coming off stream, so I've got a bit of energy coming in with it. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. Hopefully, we can hit 35k by the end of the year. So, if you're new here, you know what to do. Press that red button, man. All my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. It's the YouTube channel. We've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So, make sure to check me out all of those. I also want to say that I live stream every single day. Today's stream, as in, uh, what's the day today? Let me look at the date. It's the 15th of December. So the stream on the 15th of December where I showcased Trunks and Vegeta. It was a live stream. Lots of anime takes. But we're going to hit some more takes in this video here with the tier list. So let me know if you agree at the end of the video. I think there's going to be a lot of controvers controversies for this video. But we'll have to see. But yeah. Um... Without further ado, not holding you guys up any longer, we've got a lot to do in this video considering it's a tier list and we might be here for a long while. And the decision making is not always easy. Let's get into the video, man. Now, getting into the tier list. First things first, got to shout out Dingy because Dingy is the one that makes the tier list. If you don't follow him, make sure to do so. He makes the tier list for you guys to use. I will put it in the description below. It's free for everybody to use. So if you want to make your own tier list on whatever you want it to be, he's got a bunch of the most relevant characters here on the tier list. Not everybody's here, but a lot of the most relevant characters here. So go ahead and follow him. You can see his at is Dingy with three E's, but it's also one uh, two E's and underscore YT boys account is blocked at the moment. So I'll put both in the description. Shout out to him, man. Uh, makes good work right here. But yeah, let's get into this tier list properly now. So where we're actually gonna start is actually by placing a lot of the characters um, like that are relevant because we're only dealing with the top 10 here, right? And let me actually change this because I like to sort it by um, the game press system even though a lot of people don't. So we got uh, God tier, we got Z tier, it's how I do it on the, the channel as well. So if you uh if you aren't subscribed, I don't know why you wouldn't be subscribed, definitely uh make sure to subscribe because I do a lot of polls there. I even did a lot of polls uh literally today, which I'll actually show right now. Uh let me actually bring them up. I did a lot of polls literally gathering you guys' opinion on like what characters would actually fit where if you was to put them on a tier list. So let me bring it up right here. Uh it will load up real fast. If we go to the community tab. I got a lot of ones, so I did one on like Super Saiyan 2 Trunks and Vegeta. Uh, you can see people's opinions here. Zamasu Blue, uh, Half Corrupted Zamasu Platinum Equipped. People's opinions are very, very interesting sometimes. Uh, you can see here. Uh, I did a couple literally all in the same day because I just wanted a straight opinion. But back to the tier list, um, I just like doing it like this, following the game press format. It's the easiest way to sort it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to move up relevant characters. So if they're not relevant at all, like there's 0% chance of them getting into the top 10, I'm not even going to bother touching them. Simple as that. So we're going to glide through everybody. So we've got Beerus here. Nope. FSK. Nope. No. 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 <laughs> potential. No. 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 Actually, potential with future. Potential. No. 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 Oh, definitely. No. No. Potential. 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 We're moving people up. Uh, let's keep going. I'll just move Blue Bros up to make someone smile. Move this guy up to make someone smile. Move that up uh, for sure. Uh, keep going. No, 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 no. <sighs> Droids move them up for sure. Uh, oh, I missed Refon. I almost missed him. USV move him up. Trunks for sure. Uh, move Kula up. Why not? Broly. Beast. Pan. Piccolo. Tag Bros. 17, Trunks, Zamasu. Alright, so these ones down here, completely irrelevant. These ones up here, completely relevant in some way, shape or form. I feel like these guys need something else to actually be a contender. Now that we've got to the tier 2s, I'll zoom in a bit to make it easier for you guys to see. Uh, we've got to deal with who are the most valuable in this section now. I feel like the biggest debate right now, even though Trunks and Vegeta have released, they're not the ones you're going to be debating the most. I don't see them having the most value at all. Um... Just of it using them like I literally used them for four hours and I don't feel like they would even touch top three That's me personally, but maybe you might agree disagree. I feel like the main two we'd be debating are this guy here and uh, The tag fours these guys now I did a four-hour stream and I barely ran into any beast hans That's not to say that beast hunt isn't relevant But with the fact that he's come off the boost I could see a strong argument for people to say that the Tag 4s at the highest potential is better than Beast Hunt at the highest potential. 
But Beast Hunt has such a highest valid team. Not to say that GT isn't. I feel like these two are very, very interchangeable. That might be a hot take. And I feel like for the tier list, I'm actually going to leave Beast at number one. Just, just, just to be complacent. I don't want to make too big of a jump because I don't want to just risk it. I don't feel like it's not safe. It's too much. There's too much leeway. Like There's too much uh, of a discussion to say that the tag force have fully taken over Beast Gohan. But I will say Beast Gohan is literally there. But I feel like these two being top two, no debate. No debate. Solid. Solid for sure. Now, moving on from here, we want to touch on a few other people. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to move up maybe better contenders out of this lot here to actually make it easier. So, uh... I've been using Vegeta a lot. I'm not going to lie. I like him a lot. I like him a lot more than the Super Saiyan Trunks as well. I feel like he's a lot more valid. Because of the lock-in. I'm going to move him up. I'm leaving VB down. Future Gohan goes up for sure. TV. Cheetah for sure. 17. Move Rose up. Uh, 4Q. Pan. Zamasu for sure. And I'll move Trunks up. Oh, and Broly. So I feel like all of these are better than all of these and i feel like that's a blatant one the tiers below anything below the top 10 doesn't matter it's just a placement for the sake all right cool who do i want to move up next i feel like the next containers will be like support roles or future gohan these two zamas these three these support roles are very valid and i'm actually going to move trunks and vegeta up actually because i've been using them a bit and i feel like people are making too strong opinions early i don't know i feel like zamasu is better than everybody here zamasu Blitz blitzes this guy here. Blitzes future Gohan and Pan. The fact that he can counter rising rushes is AIDS and he can force you into a Dokabaki clash because if you use a blue card or a green card, it will happen automatically, but it will get countered if it's a strike or a tap or a tackle. If unless it's a unless it's a blast, he's clear. And because of that, he's nuts. On top of the fact he has endurance, he's got some other things in his kit just make him annoying to deal with. He makes the list for me for in the god tier section. But I feel like here, it's solid for the God Tears. The God Tears section is up. Nobody else is making it. I feel like that's where it is from here on out. We're going to be dealing with a lot of Z Tears. Now, between these three, I feel like Pan Support Role is really, really good, right? Pan Support Role is really, really good. Um, but she is a lot more glass now that actually Zamasu exists. And I feel like because people have been using Zamasu over uh, uh, Pan... Her value has just literally gone down the drain with the fact that you can get basically a similar support but endurance on this side. Even though she reduces your key a lot more um, and she can lock you in for the first two cards, the first card that you do. I don't feel like it's as big enough of a threat against the endurance because you can just rush pan. And because she's a lot more glass, you can deal with her. So I'm going to leave her out of the conversation here. I think now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm going to move 4Q up because his value for GT is insane. Now, these three are yellow units. And that's insane that we have three yellow units that are this high up already. Now, I've used Trunks and Vegeta a lot. And at first, I thought they were very overrated. And I thought like my opinion was that because everybody overrated them, given that they just released, everybody was thinking, oh, they're going to be the best in the game. They have this kit, the damage stacking, whatever, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you let everyone down. You're just an evil Vegeta. You're going to fall off harder than Kyle Ken. But... Right now, I feel like because of the teammates they have, I could see an I see an argument easily for Trunks and Vegeta to have more value than Future Gohan, and that's without a doubt. I think that's without a doubt. I feel like to say that Future Gohan right now, while these guys are boosted with Future and Zamasu existing, I guess they're both yellows, but I don't see anybody using Future Gohan over Trunks and Vegeta. I would see them running together, but over, I feel like that's kind of a stretch. Now, uh. I think I'm comfortable leaving him at four, but I feel like that's a debatable as well. But I'm happy with his placement there, given that he's going to be boosted for a while. He is a tag unit, and uh, the blast damage is good, but I feel like with Future, generally speaking, it puts him at a disadvantage. Them at a disadvantage. Blast damage is always not... It's not something that you want, I feel like. The melee meta is always more valuable. Always. So it's really a tough decision. It depends on how you want to see it. But I've used them a lot today and I feel like they did a lot of damage. I've only got them six stars as well. And that's especially with um, Zamasu. And I was using them with Vegeta on like a blast based future team. I've got the most optimal equips, but their blue card did let me down at some points. I accidentally moved Piccolo down. Um, their blue card did let me down at some points. But um, 
I would rather have the offenses on this side than use future Gohan when I've already got Zamasu. Running double endurance, I feel like that's too much because you won't have a lot of damage output uh, unless you're going to do like a uh, Beast Hunt leader, future Gohan and Zamasu, but then you'd have two blues, so that's awkward. Puts you at risk with this guy existing. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave them there, especially with the tag switch option. I think that's the only thing that would tip, put me in a more safer environment. They can tag switch and actually do damage uh, against the reds, specifically Pan and the droids people are trying to bring them back. Where are they over here? I think between these two, I'm going to put 4Q ahead. I think people really sleep on the fact that his ultimate is a real killer. It's a real killer. If you kill one of his homies, he's at least 9 stars or higher, you're getting nuked. He also has cover nullification. Double saves on GT. He's literally a, a, a must use on GT. I feel like he's safe, literally in the top five. Uh, Forku is going to be my top five unit. Now, these two would be put together, but um, I feel like because Pan's more glass and this would be a substitute if you don't have TV, I'm going to put him at uh, six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're ending into the top, the, the bottom three. <laughs> I feel like GT's unusable without 17 as well. So I'm going to put 17 up next. Um, if I'm going to do a contender, it'd be between these three, to be honest. I've seen some people try to force Rosé. But I feel like with Rosé, it's simply just the fact that he nullifies endurance that people are really trying to force it. It's not really a big threat single-handedly. But I've seen people run Vados and Pan together to make him the most dominant user. They were forcing it alongside Zenkai Boss. You're really forcing it. You're really trying to make that guy look good, man. I feel like you're doing too much. So for the fact that you, people are doing that, I don't think I'm going to touch on him. Zenkai is, is, is it's not overrated. No. It's just not good. It's not overrated. We know he's not good. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more. Am I missing anybody? Do I want to make sure, like, am I missing anybody? I'm not. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Looking at the options here, I haven't seen droids be a threat, and I don't see them becoming a threat, so I'm going to leave them down there. Um, I think it's between these two, over Broly. These two are a bigger threat. And me, personally, I've been using Vegeta. Me, personally. I feel like his lock-in snipe is more effective than Trunks is Super Saiyan, uh, double ultimate. Plus, he's a Super Saiyan. It just puts you at risk in the scenario. Someone's to run an odd cooler. Um, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. No, Broly's E tier for sure. And then the S tier begins. S tier begins. Alright, let me, let me really evaluate this. I got Beast and the Tag 4s interchangeable. Zamasu is easily the next option, without a doubt. Um, Trunks and Vegeta, top of Z tier leading. I don't see them as the same level as Zamasu, Tag Bros, or um, Beast. I feel like the defense is that... The, the If you're wondering why these guys are up here and these guys are down here, their defenses... Not statistically, and I pointed this out in the stream, right? You nerds, you 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 idiots that look at numbers and then you just assume that because these guys have higher defense stats than these guys, they are tankier. Bro, you're so wrong because GT has better defensive abilities, Z abilities, which makes these guys survive longer. So these guys are feeling squishy, so you can literally just have these guys and you don't need to worry about defensive equips. But these guys here, you would optimize offenses, but you don't have a lot of good really good defensive z abilities so then you'd actually just get murked if you're running them at low stars which is actually a big shame whereas these guys because gt is just pause bricked up i'll be saying that do what you want to do um they're not going to get shredded so you can literally focus on offenses and actually have a good solid unit that's why i would put them on god tier it's based on the team that they have around them the trunks and vegeta team is whatever team you want to run them on is not as great simple as that I might even see 4Q above Trunks and Vegeta. <laughs> because of how much of how valued my... This guy's a support double saves. I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually going to do that. Um, yeah. 
I don't see Fulku of Zamasu in terms of utility, but Fulku can definitely lead the Z tier march. <laughs> Might even be brave enough to put him in God tier. But he'd literally be scraping it. He'd be scraping it, like fully scraping it. I feel like on his own, he's not good, but it's, it's GT. It's really GT that makes him clean. Ah, <laughs> oh, giving me a headache thinking about it. I'm going to keep him at Z. I think, I, no. Yeah, I'm going to keep him at Z. I don't want to do too much. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Utility is there. Utility is there. This is where Z tier starts with the Trunks and Vegeta. Top 5, 5th at the max. And then this is the rest going on. Uh, GT unit literally just straggling. Uh, not better than Pan, but very good for their team appropriately. Uh, Pan is glass, but still worse than Future Gohan because endurance is more valuable. These guys' offenses will literally keep them in the game. And a few things here and there that make them valuable. For example, when you get their health, I think it's half health. They just drop your key. It's actually nuts. I think these two are interchangeable uh, as greens for future. The Vegeta clan member as well. The lock-in uh, ultimate is more valuable than the double ultimate in my opinion. Uh, let me actually just check that if um, if um, Super Saiyan Trunks is off boost. Let me actually bring up my phone here. Uh, I can just I can just do this quick. Uh, let me actually... Uh, the boost characters. He's off the boost. I'm for sure picking Vegeta. For sure picking Vegeta, bro. But I feel like that's going to be a hot take because people aren't using him. And my Vegeta's higher stars. Man. I feel like these are the, they're the only greens, though, that are going to attack Beast. And I feel like the lock-in is more valuable in this day and age because Beast is off the boost now. You can get this guy's value up. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. I've been using Vegeta a lot and he's literally been destroying people. So I'm going to stick to my guns and just let people disagree. So let's conclude this list. We've got Beast Hunt number one, but interchangeable with Tag Force number two. Uh, we've got Zamasu number three. We've got LF4, Ku the Zenkai 7, uh, number four. And that's the end of God tier. Starting off Z tier, we've got Trunks and Vegeta. we got six with Future Gohan. Seven, Pan. Eight, uh, 17, nine... Well, am I, did I count that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 8 is 17, 9, 10, and then honorable mention is Broly uh, alongside this guy here. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, what? What am I doing, bro? I'm, just, just, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to keep him in the team. He's not on the team. That's the top 10 there. I'm going to leave it like that. I think the most controversial one in the list is probably this guy here. And maybe I could see people actually arguing 4Q is too high. But that's what I believe anyways. And let me know what you guys think. But yeah, man, that's going to end up the tier list. Um, do this every single time a new character drops. And I feel like this tier list is pretty solid. Um, there's a lot of interchangeables. It just depends on what team you're mainly more than anything else in my opinion. But I feel like as long as your top two is B, between Beast and the Tag Fours, you're good. There shouldn't be any real issue to be honest. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys for watching, man. Press the subscribe button. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. Hopefully 35k by the end of the year, like I've been saying. So if you're new here, you know what to do, man. Press that red button. All my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. If you YouTube channel, we've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. Put you now going to live stream every single day. So if you see me live, tune in. It's good vibes, man. We always talk about many different things. And if you've got a question to ask me, it's the best place to ask me that question. But I'm going to leave the video like that, man. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Dingy for producing the tier list for us to use. My name's Akash, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one, man.